What is up guys, your boy Ren here today, and today be him deck, a deck that well took the world by storm during world championships and it's not given up. Everyone is playing it online, everyone is doing it, because cool kids are doing it. But is it really good? We're gonna find out today, uh, as we're gonna go and talk about that deck, but before... I'm gonna tell you if it's good or not. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more videos like that, for more Pokemon trading card game content, and eventually, you know, more Raven, right? And also, down there below, in the description, you have a 5% discount on any code you'd purchase on Professor Oak, and to my European fellas, uh, there is, you know, my seller page on the card market, so if you wanna buy cards from me, well, you now can. So, alright, you subscribe, you're ready, let's go. So, Behem deck, a deck that utilizes the mysterious noise attack. So, it's 90 damage and you shuffle the whole card plus everything that's um, attached to it back to the deck, right? So, you know, this is a stage one, so we will be using, uh, we will be using a TCE. Right, right. So the TC at the end of the turn after the attack does not go to a discard pile, but this time it goes back to the deck. So you have a nice flow of uh, things. But to make it uh, happen, you have to have a lot of draws. You have to thin out the deck properly and stall the game for those few turns. So that's the main strategy. That's uh, what the deck is about. Is it really good? I feel like you know when I played this deck yesterday on stream and I was you know like figuring this deck out how it actually runs. I feel like you know, it might be really good, but it's heavily, heavily matchup dependent, right? Like, if you have a right matchup, you can become the world champion. But you have to have the right matchup. And that's, I think, uh, the biggest problem of that deck. But let's go card by card and let's see uh, what's inside. So we've got a 1 Ditto and, of course, a line of 3-3 three, three PG Pidgeotto because this is our power, right? This Pidgeotto is our main drawing power in this deck and you can't deny it, right? Airmail is just fantastic here, especially at the very end when you need to dig for those, you know, for those uh, attackers and you only have like 7 to 6 cards in the deck because that's all you have. Then we have two, actually two nice Gummies, and they are here not for the Ram attack. I know we all know Gummy from that meme deck uh, that was there with you know Rainbow Energy and Hustle Belt, but this time none of that. This time we're using it for the Sticky Membrane, which is an ability that makes your opponent's active Pokemon attacks cost one more, and actually you know not only active but every single one more. So that's really cool when you attach the U-turn board onto Gumi, you attacked with uh, the Behaim and you put Gumi as an active and your opponent has to figure out what to do now and it eventually stalls the game for turn or two, that's really good and if they, you know, if they are short on the energy, well that's even better for you, right? Then we have a 4-4 line of uh, Behaim and 2-2 two -two line of Vulpix and of course a Lola Ninetales fairy type and Luminous Barrier, I said that many times, decks have to have an answer to cards like Alala Ninetales or Luminous Barrier or even you know, later Altaria GX because without those answers, well, it's an auto loss. We've seen that round 3 in the World Championships where uh, the Behem deck was playing Gardevoir GX deck, Gardevoir Sylveon uh, GX uh, tag team and well, there was nothing to do, right? He had to snipe the bench 20 damage at a time with uh, the uh, overrun, I believe that's from Zerka 3 GX attack. I think that is. So you don't want to be in that situation. But let's go to the trainer card. We have 35 trainer cards. So we got four acrobikes, three mysterious treasures, four Poke Gears with four Pokemon communications, one reset stamp, one Blizzard Town that I have not yet used. I think that is just attack for Spirit Tomb, and it is really, really good only for that, then one Shrine of Punishment, one Copycat, four Cynthia's, two Lilies, four Elms Lectures, two, actually Tate and Liza's, because now I know it, it's pronounced Liza, not Liza, but let's stop on Elms Lecture for a second. Remember, you're playing Elms Lecture not only to get PJ, but also you can get Pidgeotto, because many people actually that I talked with were like, well, you can only get basics from it. No, the card doesn't say basics. It says 60 HP or less, so even if there's a stage million that has 50 HP, you can still get it, right? Right. So let's not forget about that. Four, a nice place of U-turn boards and only four energy and that's TCE, Triple Acceleration Energy. 
that's the whole deck so the whole list is down there below in the description you can copy and paste it to the pokemon trading card game online yourself you can you know, just go to your local game store when like raven did it i'm gonna buy it because raven did it and you know just play the deck the way the raven did right right let's go let's play the deck and of course uh that is a list quite similar to what was played during world championships so you know there, you will be seeing similarities here and do you want to go first and want to go second of course you want to go first because you want to be evolving first right you want to you know be as control ish during those first few turns as possible you know you want to establish your pgs you want to thin out a deck so that is your main strategy because you're not working with the energy here and i think tomorrow tomorrow would like to go first yes tomorrow we're gonna do a oranguru control with pg but for now we're doing this uh definitely a mulligan here unfortunately all the stage ones definitely definitely mulligan come on done let's go what we see all right we've got a vulpix we've got we've got a nice uh l game so vulpix is gonna go front just because i don't really know what i'm facing and if that's a gx type of deal uh it's really good to have that nine tails on the board and hopefully he's not going to be able to knock it out turn one. Oh, that's that's interesting. Okay, so let's start with Pokegear here. And nothing again. I'm playing Pokegear. I'm thinning out a deck. That's what I'm doing. Copycat. Because again, I have to start discarding a lot of stuff. And oh my goodness, Elms Lecture now. Ay 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 as they say. I have to drink some coffee. Is this coffee good? That's a good question. A little bit milky, but yeah. I mean it's more consistent I think you know today than it was uh that it was yesterday or more consistent than insert deck here. Now I'm just gonna say dark box, right? <laughs> so it's a Mew Mew Malamar deck. Mm what else is inside that deck that's quite interesting and all right Espen and the Oxus I'm kind of interested why it's not on the bench so what is what else is inside so hmm I can do two things all right so first things first I'm gonna discard Tate and Liza, we don't need that right now. Let's see how many nine tails we've got. Okay, so I can do two things. Either I can play Elm's Lecture and get the bench, or I can play Cynthia and try to get nine tails. So let's risk it a little bit here. Let's play that Cynthia. And that was quite a, yeah, that was quite bad. I should have played Elm's Lecture here. Oh boy. I mean, you know, it's gonna take him some time actually to you know to fuel up, uh, to fuel up uh, me and Mew. So I'm quite okay here. He only can use right now Psychic Club. So I'm like this Malamar, this Inke and Malamar uh, scenario puts me off. Bennett. Okay, uh, so we're gonna see Shadow Chant and Malamar. So that is a Mew Mew, but a full on psychic version. So it's 10 damage for each support, so that's 50 right now. Giratina as well, okay. Cherish Ball, another psychic type pro Pokemon, probably. We've got a Latios. I mean, maybe if I would not, you know, risk the way I've risked it, um, that would be a lot better, but... Also, one thing to remember, he is a Psychic-type deck. Behem hits for weakness. Ha <laughs> ha! So we actually might pull it off if... Like, that's, that's the thing, if... I'm gonna draw what I need. But it's not... Yeah, you know what, let's go for it. I mean... I want to drink champagne, and there we go, we're gonna drink that champagne over here with a Ninetales, Shrine of Punishment, and let's go. 
So now we're starting to work on, on, on that uh, Mew and Mewtwo. Of course, you know, every single damage on that Pokemon counts because we're going to be hitting for 180 if, of course, if I'm going to, you know, get myself to that position. But Ninetales will stall the game quite nicely here because his only attacker right now that can go through is going to be Malamar or eventually Giratina. But it's going to take him a few more turns to actually fuel that Giratina. For the rest of the game, your opponent can't use any GX. Well, we're not using any GX. So all I need is two to three turns. And I think I got it. I think I bought myself those few turns. Alright, we've got a Dragonite. We've got another Inke because he has to establish uh, the Giratina. It's going to take a while here. Okay. Well, he does not have any attack that goes through Ninetales. I mean... Not really, right? Like, I'm trying to figure him out right now. Yeah, like, there's nothing. Doing your uh, opponent's next turn, put all damage done to this Pokemon by attacks tag team. Yep, there we go. So he kind of missed the opportunity to start uh, to start actually accelerating on uh, on that. Uh, yeah, behind. All right, all right. You know what? I can discard one PJ. Let's just get that PJ. M's lecture. Mm. Another Vulpix. Or actually, you know what? I'm gonna go with Ditto, actually. So I'm really curious, what is he thinking right now? Because, I mean, Shrine of Punishment is working, right? I know he... Well, during this turn, I don't really... Well, he can retreat and have, you know, the energy in the discard pile this way. That's an option. Um, he needs one more energy in the discard pile, though. If, if he wants to play the Giratina, right? He's at one more, one more energy. And he might have it now with the Sightseer. I, mean, I sometimes feel like cards like Sightseer I kind of miss from that deck. Alright, so we might see a... Ah, ha, ha, ha. Mm. I know what hurt me here. Uh, we might see a knockout on uh, the Ninetales here, actually. If he wants to play the Giratina. I mean, I feel like that would be a play, right? Giratina, Malamars, and knockout on Ninetales. And of course, Retina does not have weakness towards us. <laughs> but is he gonna do it? He has to have the. No! Why? Why? What? Okay, um, it's not like I'm surprised, but I am. What? Okay, Ermail, let's say we've got Behaim definitely getting him. Ermail, uh, Acrobike. Okay, okay, okay. I'm missing U turn board now, so that's what I'm hunting. And so U turn board, come on. There it is! There it is, U turn board. TCE. And Lily, there we go. Lily preparing another Behem, perfect. Um, U-turn board. Oh no! Oh no! I just realized I can't. Oh, there's the Thunder Slab. I can't play that. Oh crap! 
Oh no, no, not like that. Not like that. Yeah, I should have taken the Blizzard Town when I had the opportunity. Uh, so I've wasted. I've wasted DC due to my own stupidity. Fantastic. <sighs> you see something, right? This is Sanders lab. You, uh, you, you can forget about it online. I was so far into that scenario that I really just forgot about it being a thing. <sighs> yeah, but now he's gonna attack with, with Malamar. But again, six prizes to go. And something as simple as Gumi might actually get me somewhere. But is he going to discard Mew and Mew? Uh, discard, uh, retreat. I feel like, you know, he's, he might do it, yeah. So, we see a knockout, unfortunately. It's gonna be hard to outsource him. But we know we've got an attack with Behaim, so I have to play the Behaim front. And we're gonna be get ridding, getting rid of Giratina. And of course, after this attack, if I'm gonna find the Blizzard Town, if I'm gonna find the Blizzard Town, I'm gonna be good. But first, first things first, um, Mysterious Treasure, Elm Selector goes away. We're taking Gumei. So it's Gumei. You turn board on Gumei. TCE over here. First, I'm gonna play Cynthia though, because there is Blizzard Town still in the deck. But not in my hand. Hmm. Aramail? But there it is. There is a Blizzard Town. Alright, so we found a Blizzard Town. Aramail? Um, yeah, sure. We've got a whole lineup here. Is there anything else? No, so after this attack, Dratina can't attack, to be quite honest, on double terms, because not only due to Gume, but also because of the Blizzard Town. So we are cutting down that Dratina, right? And, well, I know he has the energy to actually put it on the Mew Mew. Right, there we go. So there goes Radiant Forest. So you might see that Dratina attacking here this turn. It is kind of unfortunate. But if he has the energy, by the way, that's one, two. Okay, so that's one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. So I'm assuming there are still like three energies somewhere. And two might be prized, one in the deck, or the other way around. No, he's not realizing what Gumi does. <laughs> yep, retreat, but there's still Gumi, but do you have an attack? Yes, he does, he has Banat. So he might attack with Banat here. And that's what he does, alright. But only 12 cards in a deck. And I still have options. So, Pokemon Communication on PJ. Of course, Luminous Barrier all on Ninetales. 16 cards in my deck, and I'm happy about that. I want to have uh, this amount of cards in my deck, so that is quite good. Mm. I'm gonna discard Elm's Lecture. There we go, let's discard it. Let's put another Elgame. Elgame? 
I'll this guy and I can play Lily. There we go. So we have a Lily, we've got a TCE. Uh, one intern board here. Airmail. Let's take Cynthia out of the deck. Because now I'm just thinning out a deck to get the pieces I need and want. That's all it is. Just so I have my next turn prepared. And yeah. Mysterious Noise, 90 damage. Actually, 180 here. And there goes Luminous Barrier. <sighs> so I know he has to waste the energy again to retreat, play it again. So that is... That's gonna be really interesting. I think, you know, next turn I just have to find the Gumi. Like, Gumi is the next turn play, and because that is a... a I'm playing one, uh, one prize attackers, I'm not... Like, this is the first time I'm not really, like, you know, scared, because, well, he has to, you know, think about what he's doing, right? Wait. So he played the energy from his hand. So he can't play it on Juratina, so he's not retreating. What the hell? Okay, so... Wait, what? what? Heal all damage from all your Pokemon. He might do that. He might heal. But why he's drawing so much? And again, he's putting all that energy on another Mew Mew. I mean, he, I think he has a plan and I... So, yeah. So he healed. As we thought, alright. But also, as I said, what I'm gonna do is... Elm's Lecture, just to get rid of that Elm's Lecture. Oh, we do not have any more uh, Gumes. But I know I still have Bro... No, there's no Brox written in that deck. That That's the wrong deck. Mm. Okay. I mean, I can work with that, so... Uh, Pokemon Communication. Behem. So again, every single turn, just prepared. Ready. With his seven card, I think you know he's gonna play a judge or a Cynthia, or whatever, at this point. But still, so airmail. So I know I there's n I don't have pieces uh, for my deck here. Okay, right. so I played airmail before the acrobike just so I will not discard two. Uh, I, don't, I will not discard one uh, TCE actually. There we go. Alright, so now I'm at level of fantastic consistency. I'm quite okay. Mysterious noise. Another 180 damage due to the weakness. And a lot of nine tails here. So that's four, five, six, seven, eight. So I'm assuming two energies. Six cards left, two energies, maybe one in hand, maybe one prized, or no, I think one hand, one prized. It might be it. It might be it. And that's why you should always run Jirachi in, uh, in the Mew box. Because there will be no Jirachi. If there, was, if there would be Jirachi, that would be a hustle here for me. And you know, he would, he could have just sniped me with the Jiratina. That's why I don't really understand why he went to heal Jiratina. You know, if he would let me just knock out Jiratina, he would actually snipe the bench. And he would actually start knocking out Ninetales. So, honestly, for this matchup, I think, you know, he, he went too far with Mew Mew. Like, there are matchups where you should just drop certain, you know, certain ideas. And you should just go for 
something that's gonna work and, and here the thing that's gonna work of course was the Giratina right and here I'm taking a three prize card three prize cards out of the Mew Mew so he has to nominate another attacker as I'm having nine tails front and again I might found that Gumei and if I'm gonna find that Gumei here in prize cards well that is gonna be uh, a problem for my opponent because there is Gumei in prize cards if you have four uh, fewer Pokemon in play you can't attack with I mean, why the Mew Mew? And again, you know, giving me a Latios, I don't think, you know, he's gonna leave it active. But that's another two prize cards. Well, I'm never gonna deck out. I'm just never gonna deck out. That is something this deck is fantastic and the strategy is all, all about. Again, against any spread deck, like the old Weezing, or current Weezing that is on the channel, yeah, again, look at that, like, he's just giving me prize cards at this point, like, what is happening here? What is up? Not playing Malamar, it's not doing anything, literally, five cards left. What is his strategy? I, I don't know. Ooh, yeah, it's not discarding, so it's okay. <laughs> I forgot that's not an Acrobike. All right. Another airmail. There we go, Behaim. So I don't want to risk it with Acrobike, so I'm just gonna retreat, play Behaim, and knock him out with mysterious tra uh, with mysterious noise. I'm going down to one prize card. I know I'm gonna have a Gumi now. That just said, like that's th that's a game. A turn that he decided to use the GX. That was the turn that I think he just went, you know, uh, away. Really. Because if he would play that one energy from his hand onto that Giratina and let me knock th that Giratina out. Of course, he would knock out the Ninetales uh, along the way. Then... Mew Mew would actually, you know be able to, to, to do something, but again, when you're playing Mew Mew, it takes knowledge about your opponent's deck, right? You know, you have to know what they might have, what they might not have. And I think of Behaim being so popular, I think everyone knows that you either play two to three Ninetaleses, and that would be the second one that he would knock out. Yeah, like, I think he just, you know, he just rage quit. So, yeah, I think even though I misplayed, and I misplayed super bad, like, let's be honest, I misplayed HARD. The deck put out a win against the Mew Box. So, guys, that is a Behaim deck for you. I think it's a super nice deck to play. Honestly, I like that deck. And... Even though it's matchup dependent, right, so there are gonna be matchups when you're just gonna get destroyed turn 2, turn 3. I feel like, you know, it's fun deck to bring to a league and just, you know, have some fun, right? So for me, it's 9 out of 10 easily because because of the fun factor. So guys, thank you so much for that, that video. Thank you so much for supporting that channel. Down there below, you have a 5% discount. Any code you would purchase on Professor Oak and also my card market sellers page. And don't forget to check me out live on Twitch. It's Raven Cold Snatchka. Thank you so, so, so much. Raven loves you. Goodbye. Mwah. And good night. Bam. <laughs> Love ya.